Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is going to be a love reading for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, focusing on your person. So this is someone you're in a connection with of some sort. Um, this will be where we look at what your person is thinking or feeling about the connection or about you and what would they tell you if they had the chance and what's going on with your connection at the moment. So we're going to look at all of that. All right, Sagittarius, let's get into it. Spirit. What are the current energies or this current situation of the person that Sagittarius is dealing with at this time? Current energies of the person Sagittarius is thinking about at this time, Spirit. What can you tell us about this person's current energies at this time? For Sagittarius. Can you tell us about this person that Sagittarius is thinking about? Oop. One down, two. All right, let's see. So we got Imagine. Interesting. This person could be uh, thinking a lot about you. Happy, happy. Someone's happy here. Time for a nap. Yeah, okay. This person's dreaming about you or you're dreaming about them. You're thinking about each other possibly. Um, possibly thinking about the happy times. Imagining um, something new here as well. Um, but this person, I feel like they've been dreaming about you. They've been, they've been um, fantasizing. Notice here, there's um, the same moon, the same moon in these images. Hope you can see that. Um, I do get the sense someone here has been dreaming about you, either daydreaming or dreaming, for sure. I think you make this person very happy. Let's see. How does this person think of this connection? How do they feel about Sagittarius or this connection spirit? How does this person think or feel? Or what does this person think or feel about this connection with Sagittarius? Does this person view Sagittarius or this connection this time? Horse. Beautiful. So this person sees this as um, something that could go the distance. Something that I feel like they see you as someone that they can lean on, someone supportive. Um, with Black Egg, this is all about some sort of message. I'm going to have to look at that spirit card. This person could be wanting to say something. Let's see. What else can we get for this person that's Sagittarius? connecting with at this time or thinking about at this time what are their thoughts or feelings towards Sagittarius or this connection oh yes lamb so this is a very important message usually a spiritual message and it's delivered um, in ways you don't expect with the lamb this is spiritually guided we got two spirit spirit cards here and at the bottom of the deck, I have the otter, which is basically this happy, happy card here. So let me look real quick at the black egg spirit message. Speaking from an authentic voice, the truth. So yeah, someone needs to speak up. This person... Um, With the black egg, there's an energy of wanting to reconnect, reconnect, sorry, <laughs> can't speak today. When we don't, ex when we don't use this energy correctly, we speak from an unsure place. We say things that others want to hear, 
repeat stories to justify our behavior. We might even try to convince ourselves that we have no inner truth at all. This hovers and waits for you to kind of face the truth. So this is very clear, concise truth here. This is someone finally opening up. This person might be wanting to opening up to you regarding a certain truth. Now let me look at the lamb to make sure that I told you everything that I could have told you about that. Bearer of an important message. Again, um, honest guidance you hear from an old friend, a young child, or sometimes a surprising stranger. The wisdom resonates within you, even though you're getting it from somewhere else. It will repeat and reverberate until you listen. So it's almost like spirit is guiding this person in some way. Spirit has a hand here. It's almost like spirit is tugging at this person's intuition. Um, so let's see. What would this person tell you if they had the chance? So we can get some insight. Spirit, what would this person tell Sagittarius if they had the chance? I'm really getting an energy of confession from the black egg here. Like a dark truth, a hidden truth. What would this person tell Sagittarius? They have the chance spirit. This person tells Sagittarius they have the chance. Karmic situation. Interesting. What else would this person say? I choose you. Okay, one more. This person tells Sagittarius Spirit. We had the chance. I feel trapped. Interesting. This person could be trapped in a karmic situation at this time. What's at the bottom? You are a light in my life. Interesting. I think this per I don't think you guys are together. I don't think you guys are together. This person's choosing you. They're confessing to you something here. Possibly that you are a light in their life. Let's see what's going on between you two. Spirit, what can you tell me about the situation between a Sagittarius and this person? It's almost like this person, they feel trapped. And this could mean, you know, trapped in the sense of like in a karmic situation. Or it could be literally trapped because what is, what is going on? <laughs> they might feel a little bit stuck. Like they can't move towards you because of what's happening right now. Spirit, what can you tell me? Actually, I forgot to do one of these. Spirit, what can you tell me about this connection? Thank you. What can you tell me about this connection? Can you tell me about the mutual energies here? Tell me about the mutual energies and this connection. What's going on here? Ooh. Wow. Ten of Pentacles, the bottom of the deck. Let's see what we have here. First card, Eight of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Cups. Hierophant reverse. 
Knight of Cups. Lovers reversed. So, um, what I'm seeing here is someone, possibly a water sign, has given up on a connection that they're in right now. There's a breakup here. Either this happened in the past between you two, Sagittarius, you and this person, or this person's going through this right now with someone else. There's a breakup here. Someone stop putting in the work into a connection. Remember, time is fluid. So this could have already happened to be currently happening or happen in the near future. And roles can be reversed. So I'll try not to confuse you because I'm reading for a lot of people. I've gotten some comments. I'm sorry. Um, there's a lot of messages that I'm getting while I'm up, you know, interpreting what I see. So it can get a little confusing because I'm interpreting it for different people. Okay. So I'm seeing, like I said, I'm seeing two scenarios here. I'm seeing a lot of love here. Someone who, this Knight of Cups has his eye on this Queen of Cups and it's almost like he's like tumbling down dominoes to get to this Queen of Cups. This person also could have made a bad choice in the past with the leverage reversed. It was the wrong choice. I am going to clarify all of this, but I'm just telling you what I see so far. Could be a Taurus, a Gemini, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that you're dealing with. Doesn't have to be. I have Earth sign here as well. But someone here stopped putting effort into something. Um, a connection, a commitment of some sort. Either in the past or currently. If it's currently, it's because this person here wants to make an offer to someone else. If it's in the past, there was love here, but someone didn't put in the effort or didn't put enough effort at some point and it ended up breaking or shattering here. And I feel like someone here is thinking about long-term commitment. Someone here is interested in long-term commitment. So let's see. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Sagittarius. Let me clarify these messages, please. For Sagittarius and this person they're connecting with. Okay. Let's start with this Eight of Pentacles reversed. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles reversed, please. Nine of Pentacles reversed. I feel like someone here lost the security that they had in a connection. Someone was confident and independent and something changed here. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles. This could also be that um, someone here is in a commitment still and is not single. Let me see. Seven of Wands. Anything else for this Eight of Pentacles, please, Spirit? The Hermit, sign of Virgo. I feel like someone... I'm seeing a few things here. This Nine of Pentacles reverse is usually someone that is feeling insecure, has lost some confidence, um, has lost their independence in some way. With the Seven of Wands, I feel like someone here is completely unbothered, especially in this deck, facing the opposition. Um, she's completely unbothered 
um, almost like they know they've made their choice and they're at peace with their choice and it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks they really thought long and hard about what they're going to what they're going to stand up for now what they believe in what they're willing to defend they're not putting an effort somewhere and they've thought about that this could also be someone that has been withdrawn Someone that has withdrawn from a connection emotionally. Um, they're not going to fight for anything here. This is not a fighter here. I mean, in the uh, traditional right or weight, they are. But in here, I don't, I'm not getting that energy with this picture. So I'm getting a few things. Like someone here is not willing to fight for something anymore. They thought about it. They're withdrawn in some way. And I don't think they're happy with the fact that they're not independent or not secure anymore. It's like at one point they were, you know, having a lot of fun, being independent, reliable, or, or self-reliant, free. And now they're not. And I don't think they like being in that position. With the tower in reverse at the bottom of the deck, I'm getting that someone here is trying to avoid a tower moment. Possibly that's why there's nobody here that's really fighting it but they're withdrawn tell me about this queen of cups tell me about this queen of cups please for sagittarius six of cups reversed this queen of cups i feel is from the past somewhere here is stuck in the past and is still in love Tell me more about this Queen of Cups. There's a lot of emotion here tied to the past and someone can't let go of that. Four of Swords reversed. The Star reversed and King of Wands. Yeah, someone here is extremely attracted to this Queen of Cups. Um, it's almost like they're trying to keep the faith that they can wake this up with the Four of Swords reverse, that to me is someone that's already healed from something or has rested and is ready to go back to work or is ready to wake up. This is also someone who possibly was silent at some point or not speaking and it's like they're ready to speak up with the Four of Swords reverse. At least for me, that's how I interpret it. Someone here is trying to keep the faith. I think it's this King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This King of Wands wants to approach this Queen of Cups here. And it's funny because at the bottom of the deck, I have a Queen of Pentacles reversed. So someone here is not... It's like a third person. So there's... It's like there's three people here. Tell me about the Hierophant reversed. Tell me about the Hierophant reversed, please, Spirit. Four of Pentacles. What else can you tell me about the Hierophant Reverse? Three of Cups Reversed, yep. I think this is a third party situation uh, for some of you. For others of you, if this person is trying to get out of a relationship, they don't want it to, they don't want to reconnect with this other person because they're holding on to something else. Tell me about the Hierophant Reverse. One more, please, for Sagittarius. There's that Queen of Pentacles Reverse. I'm telling you, this is a broken commitment. If this is a third party situation, which I believe it is for a lot of you, because I have I Choose You, I have Karmic, and I have I Feel Trapped, plus I have the Lovers in Reverse, which in this deck is three people, even though he's supposed to be an angel in the middle there. I have a Queen of Pentacles and a Queen of Cups and a King of Wands here. So I think there's definitely three people and the Three of Cups reversed. So I'm going to say, for a lot of you, this is a third party situation. Um, Someone here wants to break a commitment with this Queen of Pentacles. She's upset. 
this is a bad partner as well. This is someone who does not give. She's not giving anything anymore. She wants to take, take, take. Also bad with finances. Um, selfish. I think someone here is trying to get out of a commitment with this Queen of Pentacles because they want to break a third party situation because they're holding on to something they value with the Four of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords reverse, another queen. Someone's pissed. I don't know who it is, but someone here is pissed with the Queen of Swords. This is also someone who, um, they use their knowledge for, like they have ulterior motives with words, with information. So they twist the truth. They use the truth to hurt, to cut. It's also someone that's extremely verbally abusive or extremely pissed off with the Queen of Swords reversed. Let's see, what's this Knight of Cups about? This could be someone offering an apology or an offer of love. It's a lot of feelings here, a lot of emotion. Tell me about this Knight of Cups for Sagittarius, please. Nine of Cups. Someone here is going after their wish fulfillment. They're looking for emotional fulfillment as well. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Yeah, Six of Wands. This person wants victory. Tell me about the Lover's Reverse. That's, again, the, the breaking of a union. The disillusion of something. This is disappointment in love. This is making the wrong choice in love. A breakup. A bad partnership. Tell me about the lovers in reverse. It could have started good. But I don't think it's there now. Three of pentacles reversed. Someone here is putting in crappy effort or someone's not interested in building something anymore or whatever they were building, it was built badly. What starts bad ends bad. The sun. I feel like this is being illuminated. And again, someone here is almost like they're breaking this, this union. They're saying they no longer want to work on something with someone. And it's like, I want to be happy. The world reverse. So this could mean a few things. This is someone who's resisting closing a chapter. Someone that did not receive closure. I feel like that's what happened here. Bottom of the deck, I got the King of Cups reverse. So this is someone who's a little bit emotionally stable. Unstable. Like they're not in their right state of emotions right now. Like they could be extremely emotional about this decision. Um, someone here could be um, King of Cups reverse can also be somebody who says one thing and does another. Um, so this could be, this could be the person you're dealing with. It could be the person, um, that they're trapped with, or it could be you. It's almost like when this person approaches you, cause their, in, their, um, intentions are clear. They want victory. They want love. They want to offer this. They want to be successful with someone here, someone that they view as their happiness or fulfillment. Um, that's their intent. Their intent is to make this offer to this Queen of Cups, period. But someone is not going to be happy about this. Someone wants to come out of the cold with the Five of Pentacles reversed. Something has come to light. And I feel like it's this, this dark truth is going to be revealed. Someone was keeping something to themselves or something was not what it seemed. And now it's coming to light. It's being illuminated. Yeah, someone's healed from heartbreak or or has, you know, and again with the third party situation, the three of swords. And look, they want to make an offer. Ace of Pentacles. Someone here has either healed from heartbreak or wants to heal a painful situation here. They could also be wanting to break a third party again. They want to come out of the cold. But but this King of Cups here is, is upset, emotionally upset. Um, this is someone who could be a little bit manipulative too with their words. Um, they don't care who they hurt in order to get what they want. Um, 
So I feel like this is a complicated situation. I feel like um, this person's intents are clear. If this is the person you're dealing with right here, this Knight of Cups, if this is someone from your past that is in some way connected to you, I feel like they, if they are in a commitment right now, they want to get out of that commitment to go to you, Sagittarius. And someone's going to be very upset about that. They see you as their happiness, their, their wish fulfillment, their six of wands. You are there. You are where they feel they would be most successful. So it's going to be up to you if you want to accept them. I mean, if this person is a narcissist, manipulative person, violent, obviously don't take this person back. I don't know. Um, I, I feel like I have to say that based on some comments I'm getting. Um, we're not supposed to be taking back narcissists and liars. If that if the person you're dealing with is a violent, abusive person or someone who takes advantage of you over and over, you are not meant to have that person in your life. That person's in your life to teach you a lesson. And if you're still hanging on to them, you haven't learned the lesson. So I just want to make that clear. Spirit is always looking for us to be at our highest vibration. We cannot be attached to people that bring us down, that bring our vibration down. Okay? If this person is not like that, then I say this person is the one that wants to reconnect. And it's going to be up to you, obviously, if you still want to hear them out. I feel like this person, they're trying to keep faith. I feel like they, they are fearing here that you're not going to accept them. But... They want victory. So they are, this king of wands, they do whatever it takes. Um, otherwise, I'll leave it here. Sagittarius, thank you so much for um, checking out this video. I hope it resonated with you. I hope you got something from this reading. Um, thanks again to everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. Special thank you to those of you who have taken the time to write me such nice, supportive comments. I really appreciate it. They've been really helpful to me. So thank you. And um, yeah, I'll hope, hopefully see you in another video. Take care.